realize one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson.
We are excited to be here today. It's another day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. If you are a first-time listener, we'd like to welcome you to the Just For You radio broadcast. We also want you to know, please get your Bible ready, get your heart ready, get your mind ready to receive a word from the Lord. The Just For You radio broadcast is designed to encourage, empower, and engage listeners to thrive spiritually and naturally, utilizing biblical principles in the home, church, school, and marketplace. Just For You will reveal truth embedded in the Holy Bible to illustrate kingdom living, soul winning, compassion, and strategies to serve mankind making a difference locally and globally. Just For You will allow listeners to hear teachings that are applicable, guests that will inspire, and opportunities for serving more effectively in the home, church, school, community, and marketplace. Listen, what an opportunity it is to serve the living God. Hallelujah. Let's go before the Lord in prayer, and let's talk about how great and how marvelous and mighty our God is. He is more than enough. He is everything we could desire and more. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you thanking you for all that you've done in and through our lives. We thank you, oh God, for this opportunity just to call on your name. We ask, oh God, that you come into this broadcast, have your divine will and way, show yourself mighty and strong. Thank you for hearing the prayers of your people. Thank you for answering prayers, oh God, in advance. Lord, we just want to offer ourselves to you. We want you to have all of us, oh God. So we're asking that you touch our minds, touch our hearts, touch our bodies, touch our spirits, touch our souls today, oh God, in a very special way. We ask that you forgive us of our sins and we forgive others that we may be forgiven. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I tell you, I'm so excited about what God is doing in this hour. He is doing a marvelous thing. He's doing a mighty thing. I just want to thank you all for praying for my husband, Minister Donald Wright Jr. I tell you, we have been through some things on this past week and a half, but what can I say? The glory of the Lord prevails them all. No matter what you're going through on today, I want you to be encouraged. God is a healer. He is a deliverer. He's able to do anything but fail. Trust him on your circumstances. Trust him when you feel you don't know what else to do. Trust him because he always makes a way out of no way. I want to save my testimony for my husband a little later because I know it's hard pressed when you don't know the outcome, but there's something great when you know your God. I'm going to say that again. It's something when you don't know the outcome, but it's far greater when you know your God. Our God is able to do anything but fail. He's mind-blowing. He's powerful. He's awesome. He's everything we need and more. Hallelujah. I just want you to be encouraged today as we go before the Lord and talking about things that will be experiencing and beautiful and powerful for our lives. We want to talk about kingdom offerings are cost. Kingdom offerings are cost. Did you know that we live in an actual kingdom being the children of God? Did you know that he is the king of kings and the Lord of lords? Did you know that he rules everything concerning us? So whatever our needs are, we go to the king and he manifests them. He provides for us. 
He gives us what we need in the hour we need it most. When we need peace, he gives us peace. When he need, when we need grace, he gives us grace. Whatever we have before the king, he provides for us. You can't go wrong, kingdom. But you do have to do something to be a part of the kingdom. We talk about it often. It's called relationships. We can't expect, and I hear this all the time, I'm going to heaven. Oh, I'm going to heaven. When I leave here, I'm going to heaven. But can I ask you a question? If heaven mirrors the kingdom of God, should we not mirror on earth what heaven should be like? In other words, in heaven, I always hear about the beautifulness of the streets of gold. I hear about the angels and read it, how they worship God. I would think we need to do that on the earth as well. I would want to have a culture shock, if you will, foreign to me because I'm not astute to the things that happen there earth. Let's read Romans 12. Romans 12, 1 begins as such. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according to God, have dealt to every man the measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teaches on teaching, or he that exhorteth the exhortation. He that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. First thing we have to do is give ourselves to the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. You have to give him yourself. You have to be willing to relinquish every part of you to him in the kingdom. It is his good pleasure to give us great things. It's his good pleasure to help us to become all that we need to be. It's his good pleasure to create us for his glory. Which means that in this walk that we have each and every day, we're going to have trials. We're going to have tribulations. We're going to have afflictions. But the Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. I am a witness. He delivers them out of them all. You can be afflicted today and can be healed within the same hour. He's that kind of God. You can go through some financial distress, and yet he be the provider, as he said in his word. You can go through a lot of heartache and pain, and he be the one to mend the broken heart. Why is that? Because you're connected to the king. If you offer yourself to him, he's not like mankind. He won't throw you back. He'll build you. The Lord says, to whom he loves, he chastens. That means you're not going to just be before him. We're not going to just come before him and just go through so many things and not have his guidance, his love. We're going to have what he promised we would have. He is a faithful God. He's a just God. He cares about what goes on in our lives. He never leaves us or forsakes us. 
He promises to be with us until the end. I want you to know there's nothing too hard for God. I don't care the worst thing that you can think of. He has a solution and he has a plan for it. He's more than capable of handling everything that we go through. He's more than capable of giving you what you need when you need it most. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes we don't know what we need. He has to come in and show us. His Holy Spirit has to lead us. That comes from spending time with him. Do you know the more time you spend with him, the more you're going to mirror what heaven is like, the more those imperfections in our lives are going to come to a place of perfection through the will and the word of God? Do you recognize that we are created imperfect? We're not holy. We're imperfect. And he's able to do anything but fail. Do you know that? God is able to do anything in our lives. He can switch things in a moment, in a better than life. Listen, I am concerned about souls today. I'm concerned about those that think they don't have a way into heaven. I am concerned about the ones that believe they've done so much wrong, God won't let you in. It's not a club. It's a kingdom. And in the kingdom, the king rules. And the king makes the decision on who goes to heaven, who comes into the kingdom, who's able to partake of the royal table. You are an eligibility to God. All of us are imperfect. All of us have sinned. All of us have come short of the glory of God. All of us still are in process. All of us need him. There's not one person, I don't care what position they hold, I don't care what title they have, we all need God. If we didn't need him, it would be devastating. I want to encourage you today Know there's a way to be forgiven if you come to the cross. Know it's as simple as saying, Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. Do you know how many times I have to say that on a daily basis? Lord, help me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, give me peace. Lord, help me through this. You have to talk to the king, speak to them, and talking to him less. He hears you with a sincere heart, a contrite heart, meaning what you say. And he'll help you get to the next place you need to be in. But the first thing you have to do is offer yourself to him. What does that look like? Lord, here am I. Take me in all of my imperfections. I've sinned, Lord. I know I am unclean. I know to be in your presence. I need to ask you to forgive me. I need to ask you to help me. You got to get rid of pride. Pride has no place in the kingdom. We're all teachable in the kingdom of God. We're all willing to learn. We are all wanting to stay humble. We all want to be connected. That's a sign of kingdom living. I'm concerned that we can just cut off so easily and have no connection, and our daddy connects us one to another. We have to stay prayerful in this hour that what we believe matches the will and the word of God. It says in Romans 1 and 2, don't be confirmed, conformed to this world. It tells us that. Don't follow after every pattern of the world. Christians have authority. They have a place in God. They have a power in God. That can't be given by anybody else. It comes from that connection when we offer ourselves to him. I guess the question I want to ask, have we really fully offered ourselves to him? It's a daily, daily walk. 
he's looking for an investment, a return on his investment. Jesus died so that we can have life. The Bible goes on to say that we have life more abundantly. What does that mean? There is something called divine healing where only the hand of God can touch you with miracles that you can be wholly healed. There is something called peace. The Bible tells us that if we keep our minds stayed on him, he will give us perfect peace. There's something called divine revelation when we pray and seek him that we can read the word and get an answer. I need you to know today there's nothing that you're facing that's not in that word of God. There's a word for your situation. There's a word for what you're going through. There's a word for what you're believing God for. There's nothing wrong with believing him for greater things, but stay humble. You can have great things, but stay humble because he's looking for someone that mirrors him. When a king is shown, when we read about Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Princess Meghan Markle, we all see the royalty. But don't you know the king of kings and the Lord of lords has a greater kingdom than that? The honor and the respect that we give them is so much more when we give it to him. He has so many things waiting for those that come into the kingdom. I pray, if you have family members, if you have friends, if you have people that you know need the Lord, I want to agree with you today that they will be healed, they will be saved, they will be delivered, they will be set free. I want to believe with you today that miracles and signs and wonders will happen way before the end of this year. I believe today and agree, decree, and declare that God is going to do marvelous and mighty things for those on your prayer list. Question is, do you have a prayer list? We want to begin to pray and not just ask for those things to be done. We want to believe God until we get an answer. Let's take a moment now to pray for our loved ones, our families, our friends, those that it may even be distant from us, those that know the Lord and those that don't. Let's pray that the Lord will touch a heart tonight, touch a mind, and by the time the weekend gets here, you'll get a call and please inbox me and let me know God did it for you. We believe what we pray about. We believe God will answer prayer. We believe he will heal and deliver. He did it for my husband. I know he can do it. I was there. I saw the process. I'm telling you, he's able. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, oh God, that are believing you to touch a loved one, touch a friend, touch a family member, touch a spouse, well, whoever it is, wherever they are. We believe that the power of your word is that, that while we're praying, you're touching their minds, touching their hearts, touching their souls, giving them strength. God, save today, deliver today, have your divine will and way, and we will glorify you forevermore. You are King of kings and Lord of lords. You see beyond what the human eye can see. You're able to do anything but fail. We trust you, God. We believe you. We know that you're working right now. We pray for ministering angels to go right now. We assign you to those that we are praying for, family members, loved ones, even our enemies, God. Touch right now. Touch a body. Touch a mind. Touch a heart, God. Let them know you are real. Let them know that, God, they are being prayed for. We send the word to them, God. 
We're asking you to do it right now. Nobody can do it like you can. Nobody can touch them like you can. God, we thank you in advance for family members coming in and being safe. We thank you in advance for friends being safe. We thank you right now for the healings of your people, oh God. Impossible situations that are being made clear and free and healing is beginning right now, God. That a touch from you is going through their body. We believe for the healing virtue right now to flow in the name of Jesus. We're believing, oh God, that you're restoring families, that you're putting back husbands and wives, that you're doing what nobody else can do. All the things that are on the hearts of your people today, you know each and every one of them. I thank you in advance, oh God, for hearing. I thank you in advance for answering. I thank you in advance that you make no mistake. We don't always understand why we go through trials and tribulations, but we recognize we never lose when we're with you. We recognize we have authority, power, and victory in your word, oh God. Teach us, oh God. Teach us what it is that we must know in this hour, oh God. Help us, God, when we don't know what else to do, we call upon the name of the Lord. Help us in the name of Jesus. Then, God, forgive us. Wipe away all the sins. Wipe away all the things that have displeased you. Wipe them away, oh God, and give us a clean slate. Give us an opportunity to do it better for you and better in your kingdom, oh God. We want to do all you're creating all of us to do, oh God. Some are believing for their callings, God. Bless them today. Some are believing for greater things, oh God. They have plans and visions and businesses before you, God. We're asking, decreeing, and declaring, God, you will do just what you say. You said, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door will be open. God, we thank you for opening doors right now, and we also thank you for closing doors. Now, Lord, have your divine will and way. We need answers. We need your help. We need your guidance. And we're asking you to do it on tonight. Lord, go before us. Protect us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Protect us from the enemy and all of his wicked devices. We send him back to the pits of hell from whence he's come. He's under our feet. He has no authority or power. In the mighty name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus, that where the blood of Jesus is, the enemy cannot come nigh, and we thank you in advance. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I don't know about you, but I think it's done. I believe that he's doing everything we called out and the things we did not that's on your heart that he knows about, he's working on that too. I believe he's making a way out of no way just for you, just for me. I trust him. Well, I want to thank you for listening in on tonight. I want to let you know that if you have a birthday in the month of November, I want to send a shout out to two great, wonderful people I love. I want to say happy birthday to my very own cousin, Shamika Kroon. I want to say happy birthday to Robert Jameson. I want to say thank you to all of you that have prayed again for my husband and prayed for me and my strength and prayed for all of us that are going through. I want to send out a shout out to Kimmy Kim, Kimmy Robinson, believing God with you and for your divine healing. I am believing and praying for our elation family, our elation team. I am praying that God get the glory out of all things being done. Listen, if you've had a loved one that has gone on this week, we're praying for you. Denisha Calhoun, I'm praying for your friend. Anybody else that sent me an inbox, I'm praying, sincerely praying for you. Know that the Lord is with you. Know that he cares about you. Know that he won't fail you. Hold on high to his unchanging hand. He'll never 
never forsake you or leave you. I love you, and until next time, may the Lord be with you. May he cause his face to shine upon you, and may his grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for listening in, and we look forward, Lord willing, saying the same on next Wednesday to be with you again. May God bless you, and have a wonderful, wonderful night. Glory to your name, O God. Oh, you're wonderful. You're majestic. You're everything we need and more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O God. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name. I just want to thank him for all that he's done and all that he's doing. He's doing great and marvelous things. He's gracious. He is gracious. He is gracious. He is faithful to each and every one of us. What a mighty God we serve. Wonderful and majestic he is. He's everything, everything, hallelujah, everything, everything and more. Just keep trusting him. Keep believing him. Know that he won't fail you or disappoint you. He's right with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hold on to his unchanging hand. Just continue to worship him. Continue to bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, O God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Just another day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to continue to lift him up. We're going to continue to say he is our God. Great is our God, and greatly is he to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. You're worthy, you're mighty, you're marvelous, you're kind. You are our Father. You are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I tell you, I'm excited, oh God, for what he's doing, what he's doing in this hour. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name, oh God. Thank you for all that you've done, all that you're about to do. We're so excited, God, that you come into this broadcast, that you allowed yourself to be mighty and strong, that you are our Father, you are our King. You are everything in the name of Jesus. You are everything we need and more. We trust you, God. We believe you, God. Hallelujah. Have your way, God, in the name of Jesus. Work it out for the people, oh God. Work it out for us, oh God. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, oh God. We believe you for what you said, oh God, and we thank you in advance. We thank you, oh God. We trust you in this hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord, as we worship you, God, and we worship you and we give you praise and we honor you, oh God. There is none like you. You are mighty. You are strong. You are king. You are Lord of lords. You're everything and more. We trust you. We trust you and we believe you. We thank you for today. We honor you for today. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you're about to do. Thank you for everything that we have and everything that you're doing. Hallelujah. 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 Show up and show out. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Ah, God, there is none like you. You are so faithful. You are so good. You are so kind. Hallelujah. You are God. You are everything. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we just praise you. We thank you. We honor you. 
In Jesus' name, we honor you and we bless your name. Show up and show out, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for your peace. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. We just thank you, God, for this time. So, Lord, we ask until next time that you be with us, you lead us, you guide us, you direct us until we meet again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Have your way in Jesus' name. Have your way, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're just waiting on the Lord, hallelujah, waiting on our song, hallelujah. Oh, no. It's never too far.